instruction is a methodology that is used to help raise the level of student discourse in the science classroom. Uh, the methodology organizes a course under a very small number of ideas called models, and the methodology helps students um, design and conduct experiments that will allow them to uncover uh, the major ideas of the course and then deploy them in increasingly powerful variations. I really appreciated the way that we're practicing it as if so that I can truly see what it is like to be a student and go through the process and then also be able to take notes on how the teachers are modeling the work and how they're being teachers and how they're facilitating. The reason we should do modeling is, is we need the students to be really, really deeply engaged in this process of constructing their knowledge. You know, as teachers, we can't construct it for them. We can provide rich environments in which the students can explore these things, but we need to uh, allow the students the ability to build their knowledge for themselves. One of the things I really like is the fact that um, in addition to being very interactive and like having these things to go through and do the work, um, we're actually able to have the time to discuss it as if we were students and from the perspective uh, of an educator who's going to implement it. I think that there's a huge benefit to experiencing inquiry as a student that I think is um, novel for professional development for science teachers. The hands-on activities that we do um, really probes thinking about the, the phenomena and how to think about how to help students um, develop an understanding of physical phenomena without directly telling them what it is. And then later in the week we started looking at an energy lab. We did a, a bunch of stations where we were asking the questions in this situation of a pendulum swinging back and forth or ice melter dissolving in water. Where did the energy come from? What did the energy do? Where did the energy go? And by asking those questions, we engage the teachers in this really, really robust discussion. For example, today we're, we're discussing a simple reaction between calcium chloride and water. And why is, is it an exothermic reaction? Why is it giving off heat? And where does this energy come from? Right? And, and it's, it, it really instigated a huge, it really makes you think at a totally different level of, of, of um, level of cognition and reflection of what, what is really happening in a chemical system. Um, so what I'm learning this week um, is all about giving that control to the students and really listening to how they think about um, what they're seeing in the classroom and thinking about how to ask effective questions that get them to think about their own understanding and assess whether or not their understanding matches what they are seeing in their experiments and in reality. I should take more risks in terms of um, like, having like having labs and having um, class being more student-centered. It was, it was really helpful to see like where there were things, um, you know, if I tried something in my class, now I have an idea why it didn't go the way I wanted it to in class based on the experience of actually observing the process. I think this is a method in which that all learners can learn. One of the things that we forget is that a lot of students, especially in urban education, don't have that curiosity because they don't have a shared experience. And by creating a shared experience in modeling and instruction, we can then um, allow the classroom to feel level allow the classroom to feel um, safe and we can truly learn from each other. I really like being in a room with people who like teaching and like thinking about teaching and learning. It isn't the kind of professional development that you usually get. It's much richer, much more in-depth and I always come away with it thinking about, oh, when that participant said X, I thought I can change my approach in my classroom to uh, reflect that idea. Um, I'm in a situation where I've got um, a, a good teaching environment. I've got great colleagues, I've got great students, I've got a great um, school environment. And I think it's, it's a responsibility of, of teachers that have had the advantage of good professional development in their, their, their past to take 
what they've learned and share it with other teachers. And whenever a teacher shares their ideas with other uh, teachers, the sharer learns just as much as the person that's being shared with.